Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, only about two or three thousand of you have been bothering to watch my daily LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar thingamabob a doodle of videos, which is a little bit disappointing, actually. Not because I really care that much about the number of views and all that sort of stuff, but because they're fun, really short little videos. They take like two minutes of your day out and they're just a little bit of LEGO fun, joyful, happy times Christmas thing. And this morning's was... Um, this, which was which was kind of awesome, it was a uh, little turbo laser turret whoop, whoop, that actually turns. But the the thing that you know pleased me and made me happy was it actually fires and it uses a little Lego mechanism I've never come across before. Um, that actually actually let's see if I can get it in the lens. Oh no, missed. Let's try the other one. Uh, oh, oh, got it that time. Of course, you won't be able to see it because it happened far too quickly. But it those are gone forever. Lost two more little green thingies. Anyway, so that was fun, but. The point of this video is it reminded me of a kit that I bought many, 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 many years ago and have never built since. Those of you who've watched my channel for quite some time may have seen this kit appear in another video and I said, well, I'll, I'll build this on video sometime soon and I never got around to it. It wound up in the back of a cupboard somewhere, completely forgot about it. But of course, the reason the little turbo laser made me remind, reminded me of it is because this is a Lego, well, it's not Lego, it's, it's from Enlighten, a Lego knockoff uh, company from china um but it is lego lego compatible we'll call it lego ish lego like um but it is <laughs> a handgun something lego would never ever 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 make <laughs> but it actually fires this design is probably based off some uh lego expert uh, uh, uh adult fan out there somewhere who, who made i've seen a few variations of firing handguns made from lego but this is the first time you know i've never seen them sold as a kit because obviously lego don't do firearms in the hands of children this does say um uh, for for ages three and up so if your four-year-old wants a firing logo handgun this could be the way to go so <laughs> let's go ahead i'll show you the time lapse as i build it uh now during the time you will see me use a red piece which is a substitution piece i had to use for my own little lego collection because i couldn't find the piece that was supposed to go there i did actually find it by the time the end I, I built the gun and all the pieces but that was gone don't know why i couldn't see it on my table probably because it was sitting on a black part of the mat i don't know you're probably looking at it right now thinking there it is there it is there it is you massive idiot anyway so i fixed that but the the build was fairly straightforward it got a little complicated i had to go go back a few steps the instruction manual isn't up to lego's standards a few instruction manuals are for uh uh, Lego knockoff kind of toys, but you know I got through the build fairly straightforward. The the uh, quality of the pieces that make this thing up uh, was surprisingly good. I'm not used to seeing that from the Chinese brands. Normally they're all for plastic and they don't quite grip together and the clutching power is all over the place and they don't you know, don't really force them. But this thing, and there it is, uh, went together quite nicely. It it it's a uh, nice strong clutching power. There's no you know weird creaking or anything. All the pieces mated properly i suppose is the proper term uh, and i'm actually quite impressed with this in general i can't really show you the mechanism inside without re-dismantling it and risking the, the little springs that hold it all together sort of flying off uh, it, it is a spring-loaded type mechanism it does say on the box we can see there if it's going to focus it does say air gun it's not an air gun at all it relies on a spring mechanism both for the trigger mechanism and for the uh, little ratcheting, um, I'm not a gun person, slide, I think that, <laughs> there'll be gun people watching that will correct me on anything I say wrong, um, and it doesn't have a, again, clip or magazine, gun people get really annoyed when you call it the wrong thing, it doesn't have a slide out clip or magazine, everything loads in the, in the front, uh, of the barrel here, as you can see, again, see if we can get some focus happening there, there we go, now if you're familiar with Lego, I'm not sure what regular people call those, I've never, I've never known what they call the little, they come in Technic things, little crossbars, little X-shaped crossbars, but it fires those as the bolts, as the bullets. Um, technically, I suppose they would be bolts, would they? wouldn't they, because they're not bullets. Um, but you can store up to eight of those in the little front cabinet there, and you, for every shot, you slide back, um, and it ratchets, and I didn't fire that time. It has to be sort of upright to fire. It's a little bit fiddly on the orientation, so me doing that is, I'll okay, confuse off. So let's reorganize those. So if we go, really satisfying, nice click there, and just fire into the box. I see it now. It's not doing it. It was doing it fine before. It was 100% a broken. A broken is what I've done. Let's get all of those out there. Let's load them back in. It was. I tried it, you know, before I started recording, and it was working perfectly well. Every shot, uh, every slide, 100%. Uh, so let's just put six in there. Let's give it some room to breathe. So we'll do that, and boom. 
Here we go. Let's go through the old one. Oh, see that one didn't work. There we go. I think the thing is it has to be quite level. Let's try it again. Down. No. Do -do. Do. But yeah, as you can see, pretty reliable. A little bit fiddly, as you'd imagine it would be, being sort of built out of Legos and springs and such. But that is an amazingly satisfying little build. Um, <laughs> I don't even remember which website I got it off. It was one of those Chinese websites that sell gadgets and things. I was ordering some, I don't know, HDMI splitters and cables and bits and pieces or maybe something else for a review or something as I do from time to time because, you know, Chinese gadget websites are kind of fun to find weirdo cheapo thingies. And uh, I was just adding stuff to the shopping cart to make the shipping worthwhile. And this was one of the things I added along with a couple of other dodgy pretend Lego kits. And I thought, well, one day I'll make a video about them. And so I have. <laughs> there you go. That is the um, <clears throat> uh, 407 uh, model series. Wait, four, is 407 the name of the model? It's an light, It's from Enlighten. Uh, Enlighten Brick 407. 167 pieces. Ages not. Wait, 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 wait. Ages 9 plus there. And on the bottom it says not intended for children under 3 years of age. So maybe you have to be 9 to build it. But you can only be, you, you, can, you can be as young as 4 to go around shooting your friends with it. Um, which I wouldn't recommend, by the way, because these things, <laughs> if you hit someone in the eye with one of those things, I'm not sure you do any permanent damage, but it would definitely sting like a mother effer. Um, and it might you know, scratch your cornea or something, <laughs> which is one of the many, 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 many reasons why Lego don't sell kits like this. But there you go. Um, quite interesting. And a bit of trivia. This morning, I just got uh, the other reason I built this. Uh, I thought it would be appropriate. It's this morning I just got my flights confirmed for my next trip to America. Uh, and this time I'm not on the um, uh, West Coast where I've been pretty much every other trip except for Vegas, but that's West Coast-ish. Um, but this time I'm going somewhere else. I'm going somewhere where, without being unkind, gun violence is a little more heightened. So um, I wonder if I could make it through TSA with this. Dare me to try? <laughs> not on your life. No thanks. I like I like not being on a watch list. Thanks for watching. I am Bloody, and I will catch you next time. I really want to see someone try and go through TSA with one of those things just to, just for the news stories of 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 you know dickhead with Lego gun tries to sneak past TSA, gets bum raped for his troubles. Bum raped. Class. That's a classy way to end the video, mate. Bum raped. That should be on a T-shirt. Bum raped. Quote Blunty. TSA bum rape. Hashtag TSA bum rape. Okay, I'm like down to three bullets now. Those ones are gone forever. So is that one. <laughs>